y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a new video from the title you already know this is a sephora haul actually this is a very mini sephora haul i recently went to sephora to exchange something and a bunch of other things just happened to catch my eye and here we are it's going to be a very short and quick video but before we get started if it's your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button but anyway y'all let's just get right into this mini sephora haul okay y'all so the first thing that i picked up from sephora is this makeup forever foundation i already have a review of this up on my channel already i actually went in there to exchange um one foundation and return the other one because i had picked up two of these but while i was in there um i got shade match to the shade in 62 which is a perfect shade match I'm actually wearing it right now and if you remember my review which was a few days ago I wasn't too crazy about this foundation but the um, lady who was helping me out in Sephora suggested that when I wear this foundation I use a more hydrating primer which someone actually did mention that um, in the comment section so the lady was like when I go home try a more hydrating primer or just don't use a mattifying primer and that's exactly what I did and I feel like the finish looks a lot better with a more hydrating primer versus when I used a mattifying primer it just looks a lot better it looks more skin I tried this foundation out I felt like it looked cakey and it looked kind of heavy right now it doesn't really have that heavy cakey look it looks a lot like skin so yeah I'm actually kind of happy I gave this foundation another chance because in my review I mean I wasn't bashing it but I wasn't crazy about it either so this is like one of the things I picked up from Sephora and also when I was in Sephora I did pick up the one size setting spray just because my girl none your business she's always in the comment section she's been telling me that I have to pick this up that this is so much better than the um, Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray, which I've been liking that a lot lately. So I take her word on it that this is better than the Charlotte Tilbury. I actually use this today as my setting spray, so I'll see how it holds up um, throughout the day. But I did notice when I sprayed this, this smells a lot like hairspray. Kind of smell like a perfume, but more like ha hairspray, like perfume. Now the scent disappears, it doesn't linger, or it's not like a scent that you constantly smell, but when you first spray it, it does give you like a hairspray kind of um, scent. So I just wanted to mention that to y'all. And I also picked up while I was in there, this Laneige sleeping mask. This is the overnight sleeping mask. Now I might exchange this just because recently I end up, well not recently, maybe like two months ago, I picked up the Laneige sleeping mask from Marshalls and it was a lot less cheaper than it is in Sephora. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this just because I know I can find it at Marshalls, which I don't even know why I bought it knowing that you can find this in Marshalls for much, much cheaper. But you know, when you're in Sephora, you just be buying stuff sometimes. This is what that looks like. I think this retails for about $20. I know in Marshalls, I found it for about $10. So yeah if i go in my local marshals within like the next two weeks and i see it in there i will pick it up and this will definitely be going back to support but outside of that this is a really good sleeping mask like i like how hydrated my skin feels with this and also my skin feels super soft in the morning and since i've been using this i haven't had any breakouts like i really love this as a sleeping mask this is perfect it's not sticky like some overnight masks so i would highly highly recommend this sleeping mask and also I did pick up some more of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Daily Pill. I like these a lot and I keep buying this mini size which is only five packs just because I just can't see myself spending $80 for a full size of this even though they're good and I feel like it is worth it but I just I'd rather just keep buying the minis every so often. Now you can use these daily. I don't. I try to find a way to stretch these out. So I might use one once a week just to kind of, you know, stretch it out. But I just, I don't know. Maybe when the Sephora spring sale come around, I might pick up the full size. But yeah, I just can't see myself paying $80 for it. Even though I like it, but I don't know. The mini size is just fine for right now. I was in Sephora. I did pick up more of the Sephora collection body hydrator. The entire thing is like $17. I know a lot of people do not like how this smells, but I love it. This has like a nice, fresh 
uh, clean smell and I always use this at night and it really hydrates your skin this just smells really really good like I highly highly recommend this if you're looking for a really good body cream that is going to hydrate and not just like sink right into your skin and in a couple minutes your skin feel dry or your skin feel like you haven't put anything on I will highly highly recommend this this just smells really really good you have a body scrub that goes with this I never tried it just because I have a lot of body scrubs right now I'm trying to get through eventually I will pick this up but I love this. If you into fresh clean scents, you definitely will really, really enjoy When I was in Sephora, I did pick up another fragrance and I picked up the uh, YSL Leave Intense Perfume. I have the original and I always just wanted to add this one to my collection just based off um, YouTube reviews I've seen. But after spraying this, because I wore this yesterday, you definitely do not need the Intense in the original um, version of this because they really smell the same exact way once they dry down. This smells like very lavender, very vanilla. It literally smells like the same exact, very, very similar. I don't feel there's much of a difference. Only difference to me is the color of the juice that's in the bottle. Outside of that, it is pretty much the same thing once it dry down on me. Now, it might smell different because everybody's body chemistry is different. So something might smell one way on me and could smell completely different on the next person. But I don't think there's a need to have both of them. I did pick up one more fragrance. I did not get this from Sephora. I actually got this from Nordstrom. This is um, a part of the new line of rose fragrance this time for it just came out with i picked up um the perfume rose de rossi rose i just read some reviews about this on um nordstrom's website and i'm a lover of any type of fragrance that has a strong rose note and i was kind of expecting this to be the same way the note the rose note in this is very faint like this is not a prominent note um, this definitely is a fragrance. Well, first off, I'm not the best at describing fragrances, so I'm going to try to describe this the best way I can. When I first sprayed this, it smelled exactly like cigarettes and leather. I did not like how the first initial spray uh, smelled. So I did end up spraying this on myself and I wore it throughout the day. And as it set on my skin, I started liking this more and more. You can kind of pick up the rose note, but again, it is very faint, but this is like a very spicy, smoky scent. I really love how this smells um, when I spray it on. It's a unisex uh, fragrance. So at first, like I just mentioned, I wasn't really liking it. So I sprayed it on my son just to see what he think. and. His thoughts on this is completely different. He says it smells like mouthwash to him, but to me it doesn't smell like uh, mouthwash. But I did notice on him, it smelled completely different. It smelled so good. And I can like actually smell it on him from across the room. So this is a like a very beast mode fragrance. Even um, the few days that I've worn it, like this lasts pretty much all day long. And once you get this on your clothes, like it's, the scent is just I like this scent now when I purchased it it was kind of a blind buy just because I was expecting it to be a scent with the heavy rose note this is not this is not a scent that I would recommend anyone go out and blind buy definitely go in store and smell this because I could see why if someone smelled this and they said they didn't like it I would totally understand because this is a very unique scent I've never smelled anything like this or anything close to this so do not blind buy go in store and smell this one I actually want to smell the other two fragrances that's a part of this line but I don't want to go in store and spray them and I like them and then I'll end up buying them because this right here was $270 and I'm very impulsive if I spray something in the store I if I like it I'm buying it so yeah, I don't want to go in store and spray the other two uh, fragrances just for fear that I actually would like them and then they will be coming home with me. So if you made it this far into today's video, you will see that there is a giveaway alert on the screen. Today I decided to give away two gift cards to Sephora. I'm going to be giving away a $50 gift card and a $25 gift card. And to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is just comment um, something below about the video, something that you'd like to purchase from Sephora, anything as long as it's Sephora related. Related, and that is your chance to enter and I will be announcing the winner on February 27th so yeah that's basically all that you have to do to enter the giveaway but anyway y'all that is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later bye